Today we're going to solve a division problem um, using partial quotients. Our problem is 5,572 divided by 14. So first I'm going to put that into our problem. And I'm going to set up what we know. <coughs> Excuse me. And add it up. Okay, these are the different things we'll use in our division. So first we have to start with what we know. We know 14 times 1 is 14. 14 times 2 is 28. 14 times 3 uh, times 5, I'm going to use 5, is 70. Okay, and if I didn't know any of these, I can certainly do them off to the side. That's what we would recommend. 14 times 10 is 140. 14 times 20 is 280. I know this because 14 times 2 is 28. I have one zero. So that's how I can easily get to that number. Now with what I have, now I'm going to do 14 times 50, which is 700. Then I'm going to do 14 times 100. We generally stick with similar numbers each time. These similar numbers. Okay. Times, uh, times 100 is 1,400. 14 times 200 is 2,800. And 14 times 1,000 would be 14,000. That's too much now, so I have enough to work with. Okay, now I'm going to start subtracting out, starting with my 5,572. Okay, so I'm going to find the closest number to that without going over, which would be this one. So I'm going to subtract out 2,800. So I get 2, 7, 7, 2, and I'm going to put under add it up, I'm going to put 200 because that's what 14 goes into 5,572 5, with 2,800 200 times. 200 times to equal 2,800. Then I'm going to subtract out the next closest. This would be too much, so I'm going to use this one. So we put 100 under added up because 100 times 14 is my 1,400. Now that's going to be too high, so I'm going to use my 700. So I'm going to put 50 over here. And now the 700 is too high, so I've got to use 280, and that would be 20 times, <clears throat> I'll use 280 again, so I need to put another 20 over here, and now I'm going to use 70, and I'm going to have to continue it over here, I'm running out of space. And 70 is 5 times. Now I'm going to subtract 28. And I get 14, so then I subtract 14. I didn't write the 28 is 2. 14 would be 1. And I subtract out, I get 0. That's where I want to get to. I want to be able to subtract down to 0. And now I add up over here under my added up. 5 plus 2 plus 1 is 8. 5 plus 2 plus 2 is 9, and 2 plus 1 is 3. Now to check it, I'm going to do multiplication. Okay, I can do any method of multiplication I want. I'm going to use my answer I got, which is 398 times the 14, and see if I get this middle number. Um, I think I'm going to use lattice. I could use any method. No wrong answer. So 
8 times 1 is 8, 0, 8. 8 times 4 is 32. 9 times 1 is 9. nine um, 3 times 1 is 3. 9 times 4 is 36. 3 times 4 is 12. So I add this up. And I get what I started with. So I checked my answer to prove that my answer of 398 is correct.